Hey fanverse, all the upcoming Marvel Disney Plus shows release their teasers and there's plenty to break down in those microsecond clips. Yeah, it is like time moves slow for us. So let us go through them one by one. First up is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The opening clip shows us Cap's shield taken out by the new bearer, Sam Wilson. This seems to be on the first episode as it appears Sam is practicing Cap's old move, the backhand frisbee play. However, notice the background, the trees behind look similar to the Rambo home from Captain Marvel. As this show takes place after the blip, Monica Rambo should be an adult now and living there. But she was announced to appear in WandaVision, not in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Wherever it is, both of them are in hiding because of the Sokovia Accords. The next clip shows a very cool mid-air fight. It appears Daniel Brawl is the one holding the gun, reprising his role as Zemo. He's all set to don his classic purple mask from the comics. There's a shot of Falcon flying through the canyons. He still kept his wings despite his new frisbee. So Zemo escaped from Ross's custody, maybe because of the blip. Finally, we see another cap. In a football game. Now this is John Walker, an US agent and villain super patriot. He was introduced as government's incarnation of Captain America to replace Steve Rogers. This could be the theme of the series, the elected Cap John versus the one that deserves it, Sam. Next up, WandaVision. The first clip fires with rapid shots of Wanda and Vision in bunch of realities filled with sitcom references. Each of them shows progress in time from the 50s, the dream reality that Wanda wanted to have with Vision, the black and white one refers to the 50s, one with her classic costume is the 60s. For the next one where Wanda is wearing 70s attire, notice that she's pregnant. This brings us to the 80s where we see that she gave birth to twins. On the next shot we notice some drawings of kids in the fridge. The B suggests one of the kids is Billy Kaplan aka the mutant Wiccan, just like in the comics. In the House of M storyline there are many realities where Wanda has two children and later they are revealed to be the twins Wiccan and Speed. A number of MCU coasters has been confirmed for this series. Kat Dennings is returning as Darcy Lewis from the Thor movies. Uh, Tiona Paris will play adult Monica Rambo, and uh, Randall Park will return as Jimmy Woo from the Ant-Man movies. Faiji also suggested that Sporky the Dog from Tom King Vision comics might make a cameo in the series. Finally, the Loki series. This has the shortest duration of clip out of all of them, but is also the most interesting one. So this Loki is the unredeemed the evil Loki from 2012, which is why he's so arrogant in this clip. However, as he's cuffed and in a prison jumpsuit, notice the logo on his chest. It is TVA standing for Time Variance Authority from the Marvel comics. They are time cops and they drop in when others try to meddle with time. It is an useless bureaucracy governed by an unseen character known as Alternity with everyone having a name with justice before them. But why are they on to Loki? He did not travel time which would require the time stone. He teleported using the space stone. It is possible that the TVA is after the Avengers, not Loki because if you think of it, this branch timeline, this Loki is the only evidence of the time heist that is out of place. Therefore, it appears that Loki either works for the TVA to get their time tech and betray them or maybe breaks out and uh, steals their time tech because we know he will be time traveling in the series. What do you think folks? Let us know if we missed anything.